masters and monks. In Zenism, sometimes it's also called um, Zen of Monks. Babisabi is associated with a um, Japanese tea ceremony. This is the original tea house where um, Babisabi just started. Um, Martins, sunrise, aristocrats, press tea. And they went to the room and it was a miserable environment inside. And the utensils were blocked and barred. They were initially perceived as ugly based on a beautiful, perfect Chinese tea ceremony. And everyone enters the room with the band will fall by the purpose of the design will be built in small world. Wabi-sabi is often difficult to explain to just someone or no Japanese because it has five meanings to doctrine or aesthetic, etc. Elucidation of Wabi-sabi is studied as a doctrine of those who know don't say, those who say don't know. Wabi-sabi occupies roughly the same position in the Japanese aesthetic value as to the Greek idol of beauty and perfection in the West. It's this expression of a way of life allows some um, appreciating the minor details, details of everyday life and insight into the beauty of the simplicity and overlooked nature which comes from self imposed isolation and um, voluntary poverty for spiritual um, richness. It has similarity with um, modernism that often shares abstract, no representational ideals of beauty has identifiable surface characteristics that modernism is similar as older standards were. And Wabi-sabi is earthy, imperfect, and very dated. However, those who have distinct differences in <coughs> modernism expressed in geometric shapes, embraces technology on the other hand, Wabi-sabi expressed in private domain, intuitive worldview. Wabi-sabi's spiritual value for the universe are all things are impermanent, all things are imperfect, all things are incomplete. The Japanese weather and harsh natural disasters incorporated into the wisdom of Wabi-sabi. Wabi-sabi says greatness exists in inconspicuous and overlooked detail, opposite to the Western ideal of monumental, spectacular beauty. Wabi-sabi is about things subtle and invisible to eyes that you have to slow down be patient and look very closely. Certain common sounds also suggest a sad beautiful feeling of wabi-sabi. The sound of tree leaves um, made by the car or gentle rain inside the car. Moral <coughs> concepts Wabi-sabi suggests to get rid of all that is unnecessary. Wabi-sabi means knowing how to appreciate whatever is encountered, no matter how trifling whatever is encountered. Balance between the pleasure we get from things and the pleasure we get from freedom from things. In the Wabi-sabi tea room, the poor student, the wealthy business person, Older or uh, the powerful religious leader, they all become within the quality without a discrimination. One of the wabi sabi um, perception is about focus on the intrinsic and ignores material hierarchy. Material quality, qualities of wabi sabi suggest natural process things affected by the weathering and human treatment. Because of sound being rain and cold, expressed in discoloration, lost and burning. They still possess an undiminished voice and strength of character. Obviously, things are different from conventional good taste and correct design functions. They often misshapen or, or what people may consider ugly. Things for Abisabi are usually small and compact. In the <coughs> inevitable looking, earthy, murky, and simple. This is the power part, even the power part I made on my taking service class. Obviously, I think it was at LCC.
Wabi-sabi is um, not, but that doesn't have anything to do with luxury, and how you like explain that it's very, um, like, something that you don't notice right away, but it's so beautiful, because it is kind of a harder topic to explain, and like your definition is probably like one of the more clear definitions to me, so I thought that was really good. I thought you did a really good job explaining it overall, and I really liked the pictures that you used, and I thought you had a really good presentation. <laughs> it's Haley. Yes, Haley. Um, I really like the examples of the ceramics you did. They looked really good. Um, I like the picture of the cat and that like you actually used it to transition into the book about mm -hmm. Wabi Sabi. It was cute. Uh, I like the choice of background you had actually. Yeah. It didn't really take away from your pictures, but it was a nice touch. Yes, it had a very, very nice, very subtle textured look there. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.